Welcome back artistic family to Shannon Gibson Art Designs. For those of you who are new, thank you for stopping by my channel. I just want to remind everybody to go check out my 5k giveaway video recently posted so you guys do not miss out on the opportunity for a fantastic prize, or not really a prize, but giveaway with some personal touches for you. Um, and you guys deserve it, so definitely participate. Go ahead and comment under that video. All the details are in that video. So what I'm doing today here, guys, is I'm back to using the Color Shift Paints by Folk Art. And what I like to do, and this is a suggestion for you guys as well, is when I get new paints, especially recently, because as you guys know who have followed me um, along my journey, uh, probably 90, 85 to 90 percent of the paints that I use are Artist Loft. I love them. I find their metallics very pigmented. I love their shades and um, they work very well. They're super glossy and they dry. However, it is important to branch out and I do love challenges and new experiments. And so this will only be the second time I'm using the four that came together of the color shift line. This is the cool side. I definitely can't wait to try out the warm side because those colors are more for me. However, I thought these colors would look fantastic in a pearl pour. One, they're iridescent, they're reflective, they're gorgeous, especially my favorite, which is this green flash. So what the plan is, guys, is to because I'm testing these paints, I'm trying them in a different technique. Last time I used them, I did the swipe. So check that out as well, and I will link that, the Color Shift Swipe Review and Demo. And your paints can react in one way with a certain technique and react a complete different way in another. So that's why I always say there are so many variables. Like you couldn't count the variables in Fluid Art. One tiny thing, a drop of water can change everything. So I really want to use these paints. I love how they look. I love the shine and the reflectiveness of the iridescent in them. And I'm just very curious to see because of the type of paints they are, how well they'll do in a pearl pour. So I'm going to lay these into puddles, not compile the puddles together, but individually, because again, when you review your paints individually, then you can see which paints are more reactive. So if I just do the green and I do all the other colors separately, I can individually point it out. But if I do a puddle and pour them on together, they're going to blend and it's going to be very hard to tell which paint works better in a pearl pour or create cells or special effects. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to get my work surface all ready. We're going to get started. All right, guys, I'm all set to go. I'm just going to review the colors really quickly, pour my... Uh, Face down and get going. So right here we have the Color Shift Blue Flash. Blue Flash? Yeah, Blue Flash. I'm blind today. We have the gorgeous Purple Flash. We have my favorite Green Flash. And then we have the Aqua Flash. So move these out the way because we all know I'm clumsy and messy when it comes to painting which is so funny because other than that I am not all right Interesting. Initially, my favorite, the green flash definitely appears to be more cell reactive. You can see very, very, very tiny little pearls, like, I mean, very tiny. And over here, I got some really cool lacing. 
and a lot of the green flash and the purple flash came through. It's super cool here, guys, how it blended. It looks very pearlescent there. It doesn't look muddy at all. Um, the colors are just laying right on top of each other very nicely. And then the purple flash with the aqua and the blue uh, didn't do so much. It had these kind of weird effects to me that came through. And the aqua, which is a great color if you're doing water, um, nothing happened. So basically from my observation with the pearl pour, uh, it is the purple flash and the green flash that seem to be more cell reactive. But overall, compared to other paints I've used, they're not cell reactive at all. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Continue to support the channel as you always have. Comment, like, and share. And subscribe if you're not part of the artistic family. And I will see you in the next pour.